Hello, this is Patriot in the Dark. Welcome back to the channel. This is another in my descriptive series of field stripping pistols. This is geared for the visually impaired. As you may know, I am 100% blind. So let's get to it. Okay, today we're working with a Ruger P95DC. It is facing to the right with the muzzle end. The ejection port is facing up. Now this pistol is a polymer pistol. It is a double action, single action, hammer fired 9mm pistol. It does not have a manual safety, but it does have a decocker to drop the hammer safely. Okay, first thing is a safety check. We pick up the pistol, keeping it aimed in a safe direction. We drop the mag using the mag release, using our right thumb or left thumb because it is ambidextrous. Drop the magazine, it is clear. We set that to the side. Now we have to rack the slide to the rear and lock it to the rear by using the slide lock. We push that up with our right thumb. Lock to the rear, we visually check the chamber if you can. If you're blind like I am, you use your finger. Verify there is not any brass or nickel or steel in there. So it is clear. So we rack the slide to the rear, right at home. Okay, we can use our decocker, which is in the same position as the 1911 thumb safety. It is, uh, we just use our thumb. It is pinned in the back and it is ambidextrous. It's on both sides. So we can just press that down and it drops the hammer safely without firing the round. Okay, to break this pistol down, we have to rock the slide to the rear, push up on our slide lock with our right thumb, and inside where the chamber is, you will feel in the magazine well, there's a small tab that sticks out. That is our ejector. If you press down, it'll slightly rock forward and Push it till it goes all the way completely forward, blocking off the magazine well. All right, in that position, we are set. Now we can rack our slide to the rear and ride it home. Now we have to remove our uh, slide lock. If you have your fingers, your thumb and your pointer finger on the front of the slide, which is on the left hand side, we're pointing to the left, and ride along the the bottom of the slide until you get to your uh, slide lock you'll have the pin on the bottom side so your pointer finger shall should be pointing you know touching the protruding pin all right now when we rack the slide back we'll depress that until it uh, goes flush and it pops up now there are uh, two marks one on the slide and one on the frame that you line up to Get to the point where you can slide that out. I don't use that because I can't really see it. So I just put pressure on the ejection, no, on the pin for the slide lock. Once I get to the right position, it'll go flush. Once it's flush on the back side, I just reach up and I can pull the pin straight out. Take that and we can set that to the side. Now your slide is under tension of the spring, so we ride at home. And from that point, if we set it down on our table, be careful because the frame will just come off. Uh, the muzzle is facing to the left. We can pull our frame by the pistol grip, which is vertical, slide it off to the right, and it's free and clear. And we can set that down. Now, with our slide muzzle end facing to the left, uh, from the muzzle end, which on the left side, you follow it, you can feel the spring of your uh, recoil spring and guide rod assembly it is captured there is a plate that sits above the chamber of the muzzle or the barrel I'm sorry and if you push it slightly back compressing the spring towards the muzzle end so pushing it to the left you push it and you can lift up on it once it relieves from the lug of the barrel um, then you can just pull it off to the right now, if you have this in your hand, you can feel that the muzzle end of the guide rod assembly is, is smooth, right? It's uh, 
the spring is after that. And from the right side of the spring where the spring ends, there is a small plate assembly. It has a notch on the top that is mirrored by a tab on the bottom if it's in position for in the pistol. But for what we have now with the slide upside down, the tab is actually to the top. So we'll set that aside and we'll just remember that notch when we put this back together. So we have that sitting to the side. Now in the center of your slide, if you feel along, you'll feel the lug of the chamber on the barrel. If you pick up slightly and move it to the left until it dislodges from the lugs in the slide itself, you can pick it up and remove the whole barrel to the right so that the muzzle of the barrel comes out of the muzzle of the slide. And that is it. With the, the barrel, you can feel that lug on the chamber side of that lug, there's a notch, and that is actually where the slide lock pin goes through. So from this point, we go ahead and we can put it back together. We just drop the barrel in, muzzle end to the muzzle end of the slide, and slide the chamber to the left until it clears the, the lugs, and slide it back to the right until it locks in. We grab our guide rod assembly, and you can feel on that a plate that's on the right side, uh, the notch and the tab. You want the notch facing the barrel, okay? So that, that tab is actually vertical, sticking up. Now we insert the muzzle end of the guide rod into the slide, and we set the guide rod assembly directly onto the barrel. You know, from this point, if we compress the spring and slide that assembly towards the left until it drops on to the lug of the barrel, it'll actually drop down and then it's captured. Okay, and once that's done, the slide is complete. Now we can pick up our frame by the pistol grip vertical and have it pointing towards the left. We start at the right side of the slide, lining up the rails and slowly slide it on. All right, once it's all the way on, we can tip that towards us, the pistol grip towards us. Then we grab our slide lock with the pin. This, the way I go about doing this is I actually, in the position where the slide is now, it's all the way, it looks like it's at home. It's, it's in the uh, battery position right now. We can find the hole in the side of the frame, which is on the left side, so it's facing up. We put our pin in the hole. It only drops in a slight, maybe a half inch, quarter inch, and it's sitting on the lug of the barrel right now. So from this point, if we hold the slide lock assembly, the, the pin, with our left hand, and we rack the slide back, kind of both hands, I guess. We rack it back, and we hold it, the pin will fall into position once the slide is back. Now you pull the slide completely back until that uh, slide lock actually slides in and sits flush onto the frame. From that point, we can either ride the slide home or we can push up on the slide lock to lock the slide in the, uh, to the rear, okay? Once it's locked to the rear, if we tip it up so the slide is on the top, still facing to the left, we can reach in to the chamber area and we feel that ejection rod. We can put a little pressure up and it'll tip back towards the back side of the pistol. Once that's free and clear, you can, you're able to put your finger into the magazine well and you know that it's complete and in, in position. Okay, from that point, if we just rack our slide to the rear slightly, drop our mag release, and ride the slide home, we are complete. From this point, you can use your decocker to decock the hammer, and you can function test it. You can, with the hammer down, we can actually pull our trigger, aim it at a safe direction, and you can pull it and it'll actually use the double action for the hammer. Once that's done, we can actually cock the hammer and do the same thing. Pull the trigger to make sure that it works. And that's it.
That is your P95 DC Ruger. And you can insert your empty magazine and set it back on the table with the muzzle facing to the right. And that. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this. This was the Ruger P95 DC. It is 9mm and it's a pretty nice pistol. Uh, they're all over the place. You can pick them up. They've been around for a while now. So uh, I hope you come back to the channel and check out my other videos. And so thank you for watching and don't fear the dark.